Hey y'all, Jim Pankey here. Let's talk about major chords. There's only three shapes and you can make every major chord with these three shapes. So let's look at those shapes and then we'll figure out how to make every major chord with those three shapes. Simple? I think so. If you like this kind of content, please take a minute hit a like button, maybe even subscribe. And if you want to get notifications when I post new videos, ring that bell. All right, thanks. Okay, let's look at our first shape. We build it out of an F chord, and we've done an F chord before, but let's, let's review. So index, second string, first fret, middle finger, third string, second fret, ring finger, fourth string, third fret, little finger, first string, third fret. And that's an F. But we're going to refer to that shape as an F shape. We can move that shape around. See, we're holding all four strings, so it's movable. So we, we can play it as an F. We can move it up a half step, one fret which would be an F sharp. We can move it up one more. That's a G. Move it again. A flat. Or G sharp. Move it up again. A. Move it up one more. A sharp or B flat. Move it again. B. Move it again. C. Move it again. C sharp or D flat. Move it again, <laughs> D. One more time, D sharp or E flat. Move it one more time, E. And then once more takes us back to where we started with an F. And that's our first shape. Second shape is what we know as a D shape. So let's, let's review. So index finger, third string, second fret, social finger, second string, third fret, little finger, first string, fourth fret, and then our ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. And we know that as a D, but we can call that a D shape too. And it doesn't mean that that's the chord because as soon as we move it from here, it's not a D anymore. So we can move it. So that's a D, move it one, D sharp or E flat, move it one more, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, A, then A sharp or B flat. B, C, C sharp, or D flat, and then look, we wind up back at D. So it's completely movable. Let's look at one final shape. It's an A shape, and y'all remember it. it. It's probably the easiest one. It's index finger, or you can use your index and another finger with it, but we're going to bar everything at the second fret. So one finger is going to cover the second fret, just like that. So that's an A. You can move it up one, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat. F sharp, G, A flat, A. So three major chord shapes make all of the major chords that we'll ever need to play. Even chords you know. Watch this. So let's look at our D shape. So remember our D shape. So if we take that D shape and we go back one, so that would be a D flat, 
or C sharp, if we go back one more and you say, but Jim, I don't have enough frets. No, you don't, but you can still go back one more. Boom. And look at, look at what you're holding. You're holding this one, this one, and this one. Now the index, we don't normally hold it like that. We normally hold it like that. See, it's still the same shape. It's just like we were fretting up here beyond the nut. So that's how our major chords work. And you can calculate, figure out, decode, decipher, whatever chord that you need. So if, if you're looking at a chord chart and it says, make a B flat chord, and you say, well, I need to go find a chord chart for B to figure out what that is. No, you don't. Because you know how to make you know how to make an A chord. And you know your musical alphabet. And if you don't, I bet you do now, since I've called it out a bunch. And so A. So B flat would be the very next one. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.